Pokemon grading is a complete scam, and that's what I've heard across the community for a hot minute. It seems like there's a lot of people that just believe grading in general is a complete scam. And as somebody who is completely neutral regarding Pokemon grading, I thought I would speak my two cents into it, the goods, the bads, the uglies, and we're just going to kind of get down to the point regarding this. Right before we get into all that, though, I just want to let you know, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below. It's your boy, Dama. How you doing? Anyway, um, I want to address a video I saw yesterday. It was a Possum Buds video. Uh, my buddy Nick, he made a video regarding grading. And now some people actually pay for the grade and not the actual quality of the card. And I wanted to address the entirety of his video in one word, uh, money money yeah people don't actually care for the most part about the condition of the card when encapsulated in a slab what they care about is the grade because the grade means money what does money mean more more cash in the pocket so i can go over to my local arby's and steal all the curly fries that's the objective with grading or it's prestige what why do people worry about a grade because people who want to seem like they are the coolest most macho mother mother effers in the hobby uh what they want is the most mwah, prestige most small pop card available they want the most minimal minimal graded card of all time in their collection if that thing is five tens in the entire world they want to get the sixth and they don't care if the card actually looks like a 10 they just want to have it it's just it's all about it's all about status bro that's what it is for a lot of people the pokemon card community is either about money or status like a lot of other communities or a lot of other things in life all powered by greed however uh that's the main reason a lot of people primarily care for the grade of a card not because of the actual condition of the card but because it is a prestige slash status thing or a money thing let's just let's get that out of the way now let's talk about grading as a whole and why a lot of people believe it's a scam first reason grading is completely subjective when you send your card into a company regardless of what you think it is that card could get something completely different because someone else who's working that day could believe it's something completely different. However, there's a lot of instances I notice where people will send in cards for grading and not notice problems with the card, blatant problems. I've done it myself before. I've missed print lines on cards when I wasn't too aware of that stuff. And uh, my card will grade lower than I thought it should and I'll get really pissed and say this grader had a bad day. Well, some cases I'm right, most cases i'm actually right but there are a lot of cases at the same time where things are completely obvious if you know all the problems there can be on a card and when you actually see it and learn about it you're like oh this this makes sense now regardless though a big problem with grading is how it's subjective and greater to greater your card could grade differently it's funny though how when people get good grades on their cards resulting in a more valuable or prestigious card they don't bitch or complain when the card shouldn't have gotten that grade however when the card gets a lower grade than it should have uh people bitch and complain saying the company's biased and it's all subjective and it doesn't matter it's just kind of ironic it's when it benefits you it's fine but if it doesn't benefits you or when it doesn't benefit you it's not fine let's get let's get a staple with grading it's either all okay or it's not okay okay can we can we agree on that if you get a shit grade and you're and, and you're not happy about it you better fucking regrade that thing then because if you're just going to sit around and bitch about it you're not getting anywhere okay because if you're going to be happy when you get a really good grade when you shouldn't have you might as well at least be pissed off enough to want to regrade it uh, when you get a lower grade than you should have you see what I'm saying if you're gonna be happy with the one You better at least understand the other and and get that it happens Sometimes you're on the short end of the stick. Sometimes you're on ooh the high horse. You know what I mean? So that's something with grading people don't like how the grading is actually subjective in a lot of places Depending on your grader did your grader get his uh, you know, old wiener sucked the night before did your grader get dumped by their girlfriend the night before? These are things that may affect your grade, especially the fact that PSA graders are probably under the same payroll as a lot of people who work day jobs day to day and get pissed off during their job. No problem. And that affects their job and their work. So, you know, try to be a little lenient with these guys. Try to be a little lenient. Sometimes they fuck up. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're, I don't know what the hell happens. I just sent in a, a submission not too long ago, like a couple weeks ago. And every Japanese hollow vintage card I sent out graded nine, besides one that should never have gotten a 10. 
I sent out a Rayquaza VMAX with a literal hole in the back. A Rayquaza VMAX alt art from Evolving Skies. Sent it out with a literal pink dot error and a hole in the back of the card. Should have graded a six. I literally have video of me saying that should get a six. I said it like five different times in five different streams. Comes back a gem mint 10. How? I don't know. Am I going to question it? Uh, no, because I, I accept that sometimes you get grades you shouldn't. And sometimes that's a good thing or a bad thing. You just you take it how it is. It's just funny when it happens because, hey, welcome to PSA. Welcome to CC. Welcome to whoever you're grading with. Uh, it's part of grading. It is what it is. Another thing, people believe that a lot of individuals like grading because it encapsulates their card and keeps their card safe. Well, um, no, people primarily like grading for money. That is why a lot of people do it. I don't care what anybody tells you. Most people like grading because they make money from grading, because they can flip the cards. Um, they can quickly have uh, something of status and prestige in their collection that they can gloat or show off to other people. Or, or C, the actual grading company is sponsoring or promoting their stuff to a creator so the creator can promote it, uh, aka they're paying them. That's, that's that's the only reason people really grade. Like let's get let's get right down to it. it it's money, prestige, or the grading company is actually pr coming forward to these creators and telling them to promote their shit. No, I guarantee you, half of these creators that were shown in that CGC video, like old Leonhart and whatnot, half of them wouldn't give a fuck about CGC if CGC wasn't fucking up their ass. And a lot of them dick ride CGC, but why? Because CGC probably is, you know, filling their pockets a little bit. It's the same idea of how nobody would give a fuck about whatnot unless whatnot's filling their pockets a little bit. A lot of these successful YouTubers who are doing who are doing well, whatnot's filling their pockets. Whatnot's give, handing them old daddy's credit card and saying, "Hey, you say something nice about us, and uh, we'll make sure you're having a good time on whatnot." That's that's the same concept. You know what I mean? So there's always something in it for the people who are grading. It's not like you're grading just because you want to encapsulate your card. If you wanted to genuinely grade to encapsulate a card, hold up, you'd be grading with these fuckers. These guys right here, you would be grading with. If you just wanted a nice looking slab to encapsulate your card, I would grade with like ARS. It's a Japanese grading company. The entire front of the slab doesn't even show the grade, which I think is great because guess what? It, when people see your slab, nobody knows what the fucking grade is. They just see how beautiful the actual card is and what card it is. On the back, it'll show you your grade and all the info and all that jazz. But if you were looking for strictly just a nice slab to keep a card in, that's what you would worry about. But guess what? It's really hard to get those. They're really expensive because they're only in Japan. You can only go through a lottery system to grade with them. It's difficult. So not a lot of people are doing that. But that's an example of a slab where I would... If people only had those in their collection and they weren't buying or selling, they were only buying, they weren't selling these things. I believe they're only buying these slabs or they're grading with this company because they want to encapsulate their card and have it look as nice as possible. I believe that. But with PSA, CGC, BGS, etc., etc., there's just reason. There, there is motive as to why people are grading with these companies. Um, last thing regarding grading uh, and grading, the grading process. The grading process as a whole. Is it a scam? Is grading a scam? There are definitely lots of times with lots of grading companies where you will find yourself grading cards that, let's be honest, should never get what they get. Now I'm talking like I just graded some really, really good Japanese vintage holographics. No print lines, centering perfect. These things should always get a 10. None of them did. The one card I thought would definitely get a nine got a 10. Does it make sense? No, but it's part of the process. Does that make it a scam? It, that's, I'm not saying I'm not saying any of this is a scam. I'm not saying grading is a scam. It that's up for you to decide. All I'm saying, and and grading companies don't come after me here. All I'm saying is there is a cause for error. There's there's a probability that there is going to be error um, when people grade your cards, which means sometimes your cards will get a higher grade or a lower grade than they should. So at the end of the day, you know, if you like grading your cards, sweet, awesome, bro. That's, that's great. If you don't like grading your cards because you think it's all money, it's all ego, it's all this and that you're fucking right. <laughs> you are like, let's be honest. You, you kind of are. Uh, but at the same time, you know what I mean? If, if you're trying to collect something 
And here's the other side of it. If you're trying to collect something at the end of the day, don't you want that thing to be worth as much money as possible? Because God forbid your life goes down the shitter and you need to you need to call up the bank and say, hey, I got something, I got something as collateral. Um, you know, I got this Charizard as collateral. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is that God forbid anything ever bad you know, anything bad ever happened to you and you needed money pretty quick, your cards are graded, they're worth more money and you can get rid of them and boom, now you have on hand cash that you could then use towards whatever situation you'd need it for. That's one of the reasons I grade. I grade for the long term of things, um, which even then, if you're, if you're investing in Pokemon, let's be real, sealed product is probably a lot better than graded Pokemon cards. Depends on what you're grading, to be honest, but you know, it, I'm not even going to get into that. The point is, is grading a scam? Uh, at the end of the day, at its core, grading is subjective depending on the grader you get when you send in your submission. And sometimes it can seem like it's a scam because of the grades you're getting. But other times it could seem like you are getting a fucking gift from God because some of your cards should never grade as high as they do. But they did. So it really is subjective. It's not a scam. It's subjective. And sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. If you can deal with both of those outcomes, then you can grade cards and have a fun time. But just understand that through grading, you will learn how it works, what typically happens with certain cards, and you'll learn exactly how it kind of goes down. Regardless, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a thing or two. And if you didn't, that's fine. You know what I mean? That's cool. If you have an opinion on grading as a whole or uh, Pokemon cards and how you collect, let me know in the comments. I'm down to listen. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you gamers in the next one. Later. I've been on my own again. Baby, tell me that you really need me. Tell me that you need me, baby. Slay the demons in your head. Baby, then you tell me that you see me. Tell me that you see me.